dreams come true. This city will be ours in no time. You can't take all of us! What I found. I've assigned you a driver for your next job. Meet us at the rendezvous. I'll be right there.
Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold a laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would've got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear. No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I'd kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No. Then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. See some action? No. Nope. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. My friends are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I, I can't afford to screw it up. We don't engage. We just observe and report. Looks like that motorcycle had fallen back. Just drop something? We're taking you down! You gonna just let him shoot at us? Quinn was very clear on not engaging. We don't do something? All we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine, just this once. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. Oh, fuck. They have a turret. You gotta take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow. No can do. Unless you want to take that thing out. God damn it. Getting closer. Wait, what are you doing? I'm taking out the turret. From the roof? No, from the truck. Get me closer. You're out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a map. A little bit. I said a little bit. Technically, still within mission parameters. Heads up! We got more incoming! Now, come on! I was almost done! Uh, as long as I'm here. Ruby? Why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? Gwen! Well, there were motorcycles and then a turret, and one thing led to another. Well, that was clear. You don't sound mad. I would send one car after a convoy that size. You're just a distraction. We got a drone following these motherfuckers. Wait, you use me as bait? That's the job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing and get out of there. They're flanking us! A turret and give them a taste of their own medicine. I'm a beast. Oh, 
This one's burning too. I thought I ordered you to retreat. Honest to God, I am trying. Well, as distractions go, you're exceeding expectations. Great. Can you put that in my performance review? Uh, uh, here in a minute, JR. Sergio, don't fall back! Don't fall back! Motherfuck! You try to lose him, I'll keep him off our asses. Marshal needs to stay the fuck out of my business! Charging us! Shoot him! Shoot him! You think you can take my shit? Again. Push him back. Nobody steals from Sergio. Rolling up a six. Back off, asshole. I see a way out. Keep your head down. It's gonna be tight. You think that guy's compensating for something? Don't count him out. He'll take more than a car wreck to kill that son bitch. Okay. Time to finally get the fuck out of here. What is that? Sandstorm. We're going in. Come in, newbie. Gwen, we hear you. We're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need... Need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck, really? Do what you gotta do. Follow the lead truck until it stops. Then radio... JR, let's get it. The kid gloves are off. The kid gloves are on? I can barely see him. didn't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. We can take you, no problem! Turrets! Oh! <laughs> 
that flatbed or I will shoot you in the fucking face! said to do what I need. I got this. End of the line, motherfucker. You fuck with Sergio's business. You think you can walk away from that? You panteros, fuck! Where are they? Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh. I'm gonna die now! GG. Uh. Hey, Gwen. I followed the convoy. It, uh... It stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, no, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir.
Hang on. It's me, JR, from Marshall. I got a favor to ask if you got a minute. Might be a little something in it for you, too. Eh, I'm not doing anything else. Be right there. Hey, JR, what's up? Well, after that little clusterfuck we had with the Panteros, you know, when my life was flashing before my eyes, 
I started thinking about early retirement. Seems fair. Took my bonus and savings and bought this empty lot. I'm fixing to open my own garage. Trouble is, a pack of those idols anarchists made off with my shipment of car parts. Without it, my garage is gonna fail before it even opens. And you want me to get the shipment back? After our last run, I figured this should be easy. I'd make it worth your while. Say, a percentage of the garage? A percentage? I'm in. Hey, yo. Kev, quick question. The idols robbed this guy I know. Any idea where they take his stuff? Probably to the camp. This friend of yours some rich bigwig? Nope, just a regular Joe trying to make ends meet. That doesn't sound right. The idols are about taking down the corrupt system, not the little guy. Yeah, and they never get overzealous. Well, just be careful, okay? The idols are like a family to me. I promise I'll be nice to them. 